Hi, and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the Southwest Connect ASX Showcase down in Musselton, and I've just had a very interesting chat about lithium with Patriot Battery Metals non-executive chairman, Ken Brinsden. Ken, welcome back to the Resources Roadhouse. It's been a long time between drinks. My pleasure. Okay, so um, uh, Patriot Battery Metals, you've, you've, you've been very, very busy at your Corvette project in Quebec. Let's focus on that to start with. Um, yeah, fill us in what, with what's going on there. There's been a lot going on, so yeah, where do you want to begin? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, a huge amount underway. Um, a lot of drilling at site. So with the maiden resource out, 110 million tonnes, it's a fantastic start. But our expectation is that's going to continue to keep growing. So we've been building up our capacity, putting more rigs in that site, um, basically with an expectation that as subsequent resource updates come out, we can demonstrate the scale in the project. So, yeah, a lot of growth going on there. All right, and as you're just saying, growth, you know, the growth is continuing. I just came in on your uh, um, presentation just now, and you were, um, uh, you were alluding to the fact that, okay, you do anticipate this becoming a mine. Yeah, we're very much heading down the development pathway. Um, what gives us confidence is the, the scale that's already you know, in, in the project. There's not many maiden projects that could come up with 109 million tonnes in resource. So it genuinely demonstrates that, that it's got all the hallmarks of being a big project over time. With that as a backdrop, we're not shy about continuing to push the project development timeline. And um, yeah, that basically means more drilling, more project work, the commencement of project approvals, and also some of those important discussions about how we get ourselves into that North American and European supply chain with a product in the future. Yeah, and, and in a very friendly, a mining friendly jurisdiction as well. Exactly. There's a lot to like about Quebec and, and um, you know, fantastic steeped mining culture there. Um, yeah, I said sort of tongue in cheek, it's a, it's a French speaking WA. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, de toi. Uh, very yeah. good. Um, and another thing that you were just touching on in your presentation then was uh, the market in general and the effect that China has had on the market. Yeah. Um, Everybody started to panic about the lithium market. The, the price went off and, uh, and share prices went down, but you know, it's all cyclical. Yeah, yeah. No, China's a key, a key driver in the market. Um, easily the world's biggest lithium raw materials market. So, so they are a key driver. Um, but the good news and the emerging story now is global growth in, in EV adoption. Um, I think most people would see a lot more EVs on the road now and it's a big deal in Europe and it's a big deal in, in North America. Um, what that means is that demand is growing beyond China. And that's a really important link actually for Patriot because um, North American supply base is required and, and here we are with a project of significant scale sitting on the North American's doorstep. So the combination of all those things I think works and, and um, I'd like to think that that's going to be to the benefit of shareholders over time. And, and not wanting to steal the, the uh, Patriot Thunder, but that, that's beneficial to a lot of lithium projects around the place, isn't it? Oh yeah. A lot more lithium raw material is required. It's not just about Patriot. Of course there's going to be many more mines. In fact, um, during, during the 2020s, uh, the required lithium raw material grows 10 times. It grows from about 300,000 lithium carbonate equivalent tonnes to 3 million lithium carbonate equivalent tonnes. That means a lot more projects, a lot more mines are required. Yeah, and, and as we know, there's a lot more cars coming on, the electric vehicles, yeah, exactly. electric bikes are all over the place, scooters, I mean, it is everywhere. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay, Ken, again, it's great to catch up. Uh, we must do this more often, and uh, let's make yeah, let's not make it so long between drinks next time. No problem, Wally. Nice to catch up.